Hello, it's the Dazzling One teaching tips and tricks to the everyday girl. In today's video, I'm going to do part two to my daughter's video of how to bake your makeup. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to bake your makeup if you have a little more mature skin, where you might have some creases or wrinkles, so you can still get that por porcelain flawless look. So, let's get started. heard it it's been a little bit of time and can you believe what we finally reached a hundred yay well in today's video I'm going to show you how to bake your makeup if you have slightly mature skin so it's a part two to my daughter's how to bake your makeup video but this one is just going to go into some little tweaks and things that you can do if your skin's a little more mature or you find you have some fine lines and wrinkles as you can see, I, I really don't, but I'm going to show you the tips and tricks as if I did. One thing you really, 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 really want to do, and I say this all the time to my clients, is you want to make sure you are caring for your skin with an amazing skincare line. It doesn't matter. Mary Kay, it would be best because that's my preference because I know that it consistently works and consistently delivers and does what it says it's going to do. I've been using it for 21 years, you can see. So that being said, I can show you a million and one different tricks, but if you're not taking care of your skin, it's not going to look as good. But that doesn't mean that if you decided to start taking care of your skin, that you can't apply these tips and tricks that you see in my on my videos. So what you're going to need is a beauty blender, okay? a translucent powder, finishing spray, and for mature skin, we're going to use concealer. We're going to make products, so that, and I will list them at the, at the bottom. So, and the one thing that we're going to add that's a little bit different is the deep wrinkle filler. Now, as you can see, my makeup is done. I even have my cheeks on. This video to be focused on the baking piece, okay? We are going to take the deep, deep wrinkle filler. Now, I've already had my foundation on, and I already have a thin layer of the powder on, okay? And I have my eyes done, my cheeks, my lips, everything's done. But what I'm going to do now is the baking piece of it. Now, I have a really, really good close friend who has uh, some trouble with keeping her makeup, you know, to last all day. So some of these baking tips, even though I'm gonna be focused on certain areas on my skin that I wanna bake, you can kinda use some of this for your whole face to help your foundation last longer. So you're gonna wanna make sure, like I said, you've cleansed and moisturized your skin. Moisture is key because we're gonna be using a higher level a powder than you would normally do on a daily basis. You want to make sure your eyes are, you know, the skin around your eyes are really moisturized, your face is really moisturized. Because I think what some people have found is that when you bake, if you do have creases or wrinkles um, or crepey skin, the powder tends to settle in that because we're using such a higher level of the powder. So there is um, the Mary Kay Deep Wrinkle Filler, okay? I'm just gonna put that up there so you can see that. Okay. It is part of the TimeWise Repair Skincare line. You can use it along with any of the lines that we have. So you're just gonna take a little bit and you're gonna put it right on your fingertip. Okay. Now, place that you may have, I'm gonna move us up just a smidge closer because I want you to really get in there and see what's happening here. Okay. So any place that you have, any place that you have, sorry, I'm just trying to get us set. Any place that, so for me, any place that, that, you, that you have any sort of creasing or like some people may have it right here. Some people have it down in here. You might have it up through here around your lips. You, that's where you're gonna put the deep wrinkle filler. So I have a little bit on my finger, as you can see, and I'm just gonna apply it. Normally you apply it without, under your makeup, and you can do that too, but in this situation, I'm gonna apply it over my makeup because 
I want to have that a thicker barrier there to fill in any imperfections. So I'm just going to pat just a little bit. Remember, working with the eyes, we're very, very gentle. I'm just going to do one side of my face right now because I want you to see the difference of baking and why it's worth the extra minutes of the day. Now I've got that on. I'm going to take a little, little bit more of the deep, deep wrinkle filler and I am going to apply it here. Okay. Okay, I think I'll move, move us back just so you can see. Now that that's dried, what I'm gonna do next is I am going to put some of the concealer. I am using light beige concealer. Okay. Now, what is baking? King is using concealers and trans, sorry, translucent powders. I just kind of making a V here to give your skin a more flawless look. I'm going a little bit higher than I would under for, the, for somebody. I'm kind of going over that place where I put that at because I do have a little bit of, uh, you know, you could even do it up in here if you have like some some wrinkles in there. So I'm just going to just kind of a pat it in there. I just want to kind of pat, pat it in, pat it in. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I got my beauty blender, which I love Mary Kay's because it doesn't absorb your product. It, I don't know, it just doesn't absorb your product, so you're not getting that bacteria buildup inside of it, which is amazing. Okay, a lot of them on the market, they absorb your product, so you're using twice as much product. So I'm using the Mary Kay Translucent Powder. A little bit more. I got just a little, if you can see that. Okay, now we are really going to go to town with the powder. Circumstances, you would not use this much, you know. But don't worry, it's not going to stay. So the powder I've already wet it. I'm sorry, I meant to tell you that. Okay. Touch. Put a little more on. It's gonna look a little wild, but. It's not going to stay on. So basically what's happening is, is the warmth from your body's chemistry, your, um, your body's normal chemistry is baking, your, is baking the makeup on, into the skin, on the skin, however you want to say it, to give you a more like flawless look. So you see I have a, 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 a huge amount on like I said with older skin you're going to do it slightly different than somebody that has younger skin because they don't have any creases I don't really have any real wrinkles but I do I can always use a little bit more uh, under the eye so that's why you're putting that deep wrinkle filler because it's almost like it actually is a repairing agent that's what I should say so it's something you can use in your skincare regularly to repair wrinkles and creases and things like that. But in this particular situation, I used it to almost make my skin look like it's, you know, maybe 20 years younger, I would say. Stance as we do our eyes, you know, we do our cheeks, we maybe contour, you know, we might do our brows, whatever, but I've already done those things. So we're going to let this bake about five minutes. And that would, like I said, give you time to do the other stuff. So I'm going to pause the video here and then bring you back with... Now what we're going to do is I did a little highlighting um, with the um, highlighting powder while we waited. That was one thing I hadn't done already. 
and the color I used was golden um, from the Chroma Fusion line. So now what we're going to use is a Mary Kay powder brush. Any sort of bigger or looser brush is fine. Basically, we're just dusting the powder off. We're just dusting it off. I'm kind of using kind of like a buffing motion to do it. I don't mean to block it, but it makes it kind of tough to see. <clears throat> so, here we go. We got it off. As you can see, um, the difference there, um, in my face, one side looks a little more, let me bring us back just so you can get a better look. One side of my face looks um, a little more flawless. Um, so at this point, I might even add a little more to my blush and I might even add a little more contour, which I will do right now. And I'm just gonna add that in there bronzer and I'm just gonna kind of trying to do this okay okay so how does that look now I'm gonna go off camera do the other side and you can see I still I do have a little bit of a um, little bit of a line under my eyes but on this side, you don't see it. It just gives you that seamless look. I did a little more contour. I did my other side of my face. This is the final look of the baking. Uh, tell me what you think. On one side, I used the deep wrinkle filler, and this side, I did not, because I wanted you to see the difference of using it. Um, it's not as smooth under the eye, where that's where I have a little bit of, um, uh, so that is definitely something to consider. I did highlight a little bit, you know on the forehead and down the nose but it definitely makes your face look more brighter um the one thing i did forget which i finishing spray i'm going to make sure i set it for a minute or not even a minute a few seconds and then it dries <laughs> so again i hope you found this video useful Help if you want to see any additional videos, shoot me a message and I'll get back to you and we can do it. So, as always, this is the Dazzling One teaching tips and tricks to the everyday girl. I remember like, subscribe, and comment. Have an amazing and wonderful day. Bye-bye.